Fala galerinha do YouTube, aqui quem fala é Renato jogando com mais um vídeo de Genshin Impact E vamos lá falar com a nossa amiga, que a gente tem que continuar mi as missões de Liu, hein, né? A gente vai ter que ir lá pra cima. Deixa eu ver se tem. É, não tem nada aqui. Ah, tem aqui. Vou vir pra cá e daqui eu já só flutuando. Depois de muito tempo estamos voltando né, a fazer vídeos de Genshin Impact. Que agora já tem evoluiu bastante né, o jogo, então tem uma história bem maior pra gente fazer. Quem tá começando a jogar agora vai se dar bem. Pode ter certeza. E tem muita coisa pra fazer. Agora, quem já jogou durante um tempo, tende a ser um pouco menor. Então eu vou fazendo gradativamente, todas as atualizações eu vou colocando. Tem mapa novo, a gente vai conhecer... Vamos lá, chegar perto dela... E... Precisa <risos> nem cair no chão Cadê tu, mulher? Ah, tá Eu So the rumors are true. No wonder the price of building materials has gone up so much lately. The Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. Getting involved in this would be a huge opportunity. Lady Ningguang, is there any way we can be of service? Patience. Since the news made it out a few days ago, I have already had many people contacting me to declare an interest in joining the project. Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here today. The building site has been chosen, and most of the materials have been assembled. Three key items are, however, still outstanding. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. Uh... Excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. I, I'm familiar enough with Plostrite, but I've never even heard of those other two. Mexe a boca, meu amigo. Only sufficiently large pieces of Plostrite, or specifically, Vermilionite, may earn themselves the Sunset moniker. This stone is what allows the Jade Chamber to float. Wonder Cores, meanwhile, are the central components of the mechanical structure of the Jade Chamber. Adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with Adepti art. They are as indispensable as the mechanical core itself. Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capabilities, procuring them will not be a question of if, but of when. I take the saying, time is money, more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. I will pay a generous price for the materials that you find. And in addition, the first three people who collect all the materials will have the opportunity to ask me a question. You may ask me anything, and I will give you an honest answer. I trust that this means of compensation will be to everyone's satisfaction. These things won't be easy to get hold of, but if it means a chance to get some inside information on Liyue Harbor's development plan for next year, Then it's the deal of a lifetime. Information from Lady Ningguang is priceless. Whoever gets to it first takes the market. Haha, <laughs> what a coincidence! I won't divulge too much, but I heard some murmurings about some plot strike just the other day. So excuse me all, but um I have some business to do. Better move quickly, or this opportunity will be snatched away from us. Ningguang's rebuilding the Jade Chamber? This is a huge deal! Let's get involved! So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? 
Interested? Yes. Providing the question pertains to something I am knowledgeable about. Really? Ooh, then Pyra will ask you about how to run a business! Then we'll never be short of Mora ever again! <laughs> of course. But how much information I share with you will depend on your performance. The construction of the Jade Chamber requires a great deal of space. The abandoned mine outside the Golden House has been selected as the building site. Once you have collected the materials, please, take them there. I have other business to attend to now. Otherwise, I would gladly escort you to the site in person. When you do arrive, please, seek out my secretary. Remember, this is a race against the clock. A Super busy. Come First, we gotta get out of Eugene Terrace. Uh, huh? Look! It seems like there's something kind of fishy going on over there. Ma'am, you seem like an eminent and distinguished young lady to me. He is lady. I can see that you're easily gonna win this program. I am a winner. Lady Dingwang has set up. As it happens, we have some information about the materials that I really think might interest you. Come on, let's find somewhere a little more private. We can get down to brass tacks. No, I don't need it. Ah, don't be like that. Hey, come on, don't go! Why don't you stand there after her? Oh, right, yeah. A graça retorna para o vento. Nossa missão é para cá. <laughs> well, you look at that, ma'am. Nowhere left to run. Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You give us some mora, we give you a little info. Everybody's a winner. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there, there's something different about her. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? I've already told you. I don't need your information. If you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. Uh, come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over and nobody getting hurt. I won't... No more excuses! <sighs> I know you have money. I saw you. Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food, and only taking a few bites. Then Shinyu at Kiosk, then Wanmin Restaurant. Same story each time. You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your way again. How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? Master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harbor. But here we are. Hmm. Perhaps... Ah, uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Boss, I'm telling you, something's not right. What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue her for everything she's worth. Hmm. Oh, you again. Well, what are the 
the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? You ought to mind your own business, I swear! Silence! How dare you threaten innocent civilians? You're coming with us. <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. P please, let me explain. Shen He. Shen He? My name. Oh, so your name's Shen He. Paimon's name is, well, Paimon. And this is Paimon's travel buddy. Hmm. I've heard about you two before. <sighs> Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. <gasps> you, you can't do that! That's way too violent! This is Lila Harbor! There are laws against that kind of stuff, you know! Laws? <sighs> no. Apparently not. Really? So, how exactly have you... That would be my stomach growling. Hmm, I haven't eaten enough. She's so honest. Wait, that's right! They said you went around... Then of course you're still hungry! Hmm, Chingson, Glaze Lily, Violet Grass. These are my usuals. Hmm, medicinal herbs? Kind of hard to explain. Anyway, Boo Boo Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take Shenha there for a big medicinal meal! After all, you can't work on an imp. Do you think Shenha might be an adaptive? Hmm. It seems like it's her first time in Liyue Harbor, and she doesn't seem to get how things work. Where does she fit in with the other ad Are you here to buy some herbs? I do hope you brought your prescription. Chingson, Glaze Lily, and Violet Grass, please. Half a pound of each. What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's everything we have in stock. Thank you. She's really eating them! <sighs> My hunger has now abated. Thank you. Hmm. Rather awful. <sighs> Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance, after consuming a large quantity of them. So, how can you chow down on these and barely touch the restaurant food? If Paimon had enough, Mora, Paimon would go to the... Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious, but should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. Mm. Ah, I think dish you. in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Return to the mountains. That proves it. I, I knew she was an adeptus. Mm. Enough about me. What are your plans from here? Oh, ah, não, é pro gelo. <risos> Começamos do vento, da terra, agora do gelo. And I would now like to lend you my assistance. Wow! You really don't have to. But having an adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier, so... Then let's not delay. I have a plan. Great! I'm on bet this is gonna be the awesomest plan ever! Um, I am not sure whether or to what extent this plan can be classified as... Oh, we simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Then we. Mito! That is not a 
<risos> Ela acha que vai todo mundo. <risos> eliminar todo mundo para poder ganhar a corrida. Aí não. Mas eu ouço que a competição é, em essência, sobre conflito e one-upmanship. Olha, nós vamos ganhar essa competição fair e square, ok? Sunset for Millionite, Wonder Course and Adeptai Sigils. Let's start at the top of the list and work down. So I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. So, it's you. Bye, you. What are you doing out here? Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so I came out to fetch the ingredients personally. There is some mention of it in the Seven Mountain Treatises. When activated, Sunset Vermilionite rises up all the way into the cloud. As far as the records show, virtually all Sunset Vermilionite in existence has been mined and taken possession of. But the Feiyun... Okay then, let's go ask at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Thanks, Baiju. You're quite welcome. Good luck to you all. And if there's anything further you need from me, just come to the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Beleza. <coughs> Observador do oceano. Vá para a guilda de comerciantes de Feiyun e procurar por Xingyu. Mais um personagem. E tem alguma coisa que a gente pode comprar? Tem, abre medicinais. Tenho contas de cada. Sempre bom, né? Sempre bom ter pra fazer. Ah, a gente vai precisar pra poder fazer. É. Remédio, escura e por aí vai. Master Singcho, thank goodness you're finally back. Oh, why do I detect an urgency in your voice? Esse é o nome que usa, o tiro da água. Strange orders in recently. Your father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay in. I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. Oh, how wonderful! Thank you, Master. With you on the job, I can breathe a sigh. Hey, Singcho, glad you're here. We want to ask you for some information. Traveler. Paimon, please wait a moment. Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll discuss them. Understood, Master Singchio. Then I will leave you in peace. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And how, pray tell, may I be of service? Xingqiu, have you ever heard of Sun? Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Ningguang's contest as well. The truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite, but only one peak. We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction. And at the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. In this case, I'm guessing the final transaction price may be in excess of 500 million mora. 500 
hundred million! Honestly, I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price- But... without any sunset vermilion, I- Don't panic. I don't suppose you ever heard of Seagazer? Who? Hmm. Seagazer was once very close to Mountain Shaker. But if I am not mistaken, he has already passed away. Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. According to records of drifting clouds, Seagazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most ex- After Seagazer passed, the abode was abandoned, and its location was lost to time. Luckily, I came into possession of a stack of folk history books just recently. They make some oblique references to this lost abode, and after- That's great! Um, but is it really okay for- Wouldn't it be a little, you know, disrespectful? <laughs> You needn't worry. As far as I understand, Seagazer was very open-minded. Open-minded? I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. May I ask where you read that? Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. <sighs> Alright then, let's go. Hmm. There's something about this young lady that reminds me of a good friend of mine. Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs. Especially when it comes to their defense. Okay. Beleza, as nossas defesas são bastante inimigos. Resumindo aí, se armadilhas. Tá bom. Deixa eu ver se dá para ir para lá. Para onde iremos? Ah, só vim aqui de novo. Malandramente. Viu? Pronto. Place was hidden using a special adepti art, but now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around. Hey, look! Espera que uma espada boa. O Cili. Single player. Aqui peça, aqui peça. Hum, aqui que é o desafio nessa pequenina cachoeira escondida. Bem, vamos ver. of that adeptus. With any luck, the sunset vermilionite we're looking for should be in here. Really? Let Paimon see! Look, it's, and now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rock... These are not real clouds. 
They are the product of an Adepti art used... If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the Adepti art. All right, then let's right, do it. I think it's Romica and you. I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are hiding, so we... Tem monstros aqui. Imagina aí, pô. Óbvio que tem monstros aqui. E ela tá com a gente, é? Legal. Beleza, dela tem um. Dela o que? Lança. Tá, beleza. Ah, dela é gila, né? Aqui a gente já destruiu, né? Não é aqui. Transfiguration. O que eu tenho que fazer aqui? Brace yourself. Ué, qual magia que eu tenho que fazer? Será que é fogo? Não é raio. Ah, qual é a missão que eu tenho que fazer? Ative o núcleo antigo. Hora de tentar a sorte. De acordo com o Xingyu, o paraíso mágico observado pelo oceano deve ser para longe de pôr do sol. Ele deve tentar a sorte. Então, é quem? Será que é água? Ué. Só pode ser gelo. Gelo mesmo. Não! Gastei à toa. Yeah. 
Take your true form. Vamos ver. Cadê tu? By ordinance divine. Gostei, legal. that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Time for takeoff. Stand with me. Let the show begin. Take your true form. Transfiguration. My will embodied. Here we go. Agora vai. Ó que doideira. Think you can get away? Do your master's bidding. This way. Get out of here. The core of the mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. Ó que doideira. Tá aí agora. My will embodied. Ah, tá. Agora tem que. Devido a fim dispersa, após destruir o mecanismo. Eita, nem mole. Era pra eu ter... Caraca, nem mole, mano. Era pra eu ter... Caído voando, mole. Me distraí. Doideira. Uh. 
Why? Unleash! Take your true form! Obey! Here we go! Time for takeoff! Stand with me! Get out of here! está By ordinance divine Transfiguration Mas o dele, ó. Hum. Hum. 
Schade. Transfiguration. Foi. Só faltou esse. Esse daí não é que andava com a irmã dele? Eita, me pisou mais ainda. Agora a gente vai cair no lugar mais. Chegamos. Vai que não tá não. Eita, que que é que são dragão? Transfiguration. Yahoo! How rude! Think you can get away? Oh dear! Caraca. Off we go. <laughs> 
Caraca. Quando ele vira de cabeça baixa, a gente tem que pegar. Ah, vai demorar. Acabou, matei? Matei Só gelo mesmo. Caraca, matou os dois. Que eu ia atacar os droga. Nossa, ele é todo mundo. Caraca. Acho que dá pra passar, né? É. Acho que pensar aqui. Caraca, derrapou.
Quem que eu revivo? Pode reviver isso aqui. Nick. É, agora. Só tem esse. Fôlego, né? Diminui a estamina. Caraca, destruiu, filho. Ah. Agora foi. Abandonar, tentar de novo a partir da porta de ressurreição. Não, tentar de novo. Então é isso, gente. Vou fechar o vídeo por aqui. No próximo a gente continua. Não deixe de se inscrever no canal, clicar no sininho, compartilhar o vídeo, dar aquele like e fui!